Uh, yes, hello, welcome back to another vlog here on the channel. Uh, something a little bit different today. Uh, completely different, actually. Well, it's a fair, isn't it? We've been dogging before. <laughs> oh, you mean the fair? Many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fair, but it's like um, it's a steam rally, um, like a mini Dorset steam fair. So we're going to see some um, steam engines, a couple of fair rides. We've got Ken Fox's uh, Wall of Death here, which is the main reason I wanted to come. I've never seen a Wall of Death, so I'm really excited for that. And we've got some vintage cars. Stuff like that so we'll show you around um take you in also we'll jump on a few rides as well but it is only charles cole i'm afraid stuff you've seen a million times city of fun uh you're bored of it but yeah so we'll get in we'll have a really really good time we are meeting simon in there actually so i'm looking forward to this uh netley netley marsh yes, netley marsh netley steam marsh, rally steam no steam steam and craft show it's a craft show as well so we can buy like um knitwear maybe like a little man bag something yeah, like that get cooper some shorts he won't wear them, he just wears he, like... He wore shorts he put in the chat. At home? Oh uh, yeah. He won't wear them out. <laughs> I, bet yeah, so... all he, I bet that's all he wore as well. <laughs> just shorts. <laughs> just, just shorts. So yeah, we're going to go in, we're going to look at some crafts, buy some handmade tat. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll go handmade in and tat. We'll, we'll show you around. Simon Elkins is in there, he's handmade tat. Connor, where's Elkins? Huh? Where's Elkins? He's in there. It's just one... like you don't like how Doctor Who's got his TARDIS. Yeah. Simon's got his portal. It's, that's how he arrives. Yeah. <laughs> that's how he gets to ground. It flies, you know. I bet it does. So there's your admission prices. £12 an adult. Uh, Simon actually falls under the OAP, doesn't he? Yeah, so I booked online. £12. All the plastic cars are leaving. We missed him. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. That's cool, isn't it? Alright. So there you go, I've just got some footage of some um, steam engines. I that's think one of them getting. I think one of them is a Foden. Yeah, that's it now. They're all they're all pissing off, literally. That's the way out and they're all driving down there. I think we've uh, I think we've missed it. It's so dusty here as well. Little campers there, aren't there? We should have bought the tent. Yeah, so they've got like a little entrance here where you go in, they probably scan your QR code. You can pay at the uh, the gate as well. Hopefully we're not too late. We, we do see some uh, steam vehicles, some steam engines. They all seem to be heading for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, I think they're shutting. turn up and they're all leaving. I feel like Andy. <laughs> turn up and they're closing. For the last hour. No, but um, hopefully we, we will get to see some, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Right, we'll get in now. Right, so we're in now, scanned our QR code, straight in, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, yeah, so it's a good little event. I've never actually been here before in the Italy Marsh Team Rally, it's the first time for me. I've been to Dorset, and this is like a mini Dorset on a much, much smaller scale, but it's still pretty hefty. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff here, a lot of entertainment. I think in the evening you get like um, singers and stuff, some live bands. Hey, 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 uh, I think there's a beer tent, loads of craft stalls I can still see. So yeah, it's going to be a good couple of hours here. Hopefully we'll stay for the fireworks as well. We do have Charles Cole's Fair. Uh, I know you've seen it a hundred times. Uh, it's going to be 101, I'm afraid. The only thing I'm slightly disappointed about is the lack of uh, vintage rides. I've seen pictures from previous years and they used to have a big wheel and gallopers here. Uh, that's quite a miss, I think, at this fair because it is a steam rally. You would probably expect a couple of vintage rides. Um, when you corner, yeah, a couple, yeah, yeah. you know, yes. not 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 loads, but maybe a gallopers and a, a big wheel would would really uh, go well at this event. But you know, unfortunately, they're not here. Um, we just make the most of what is here, and that is Charles Cole's family fun fair. We're going to find Simon. I I, I know where he's going to be. He's going to be in there chatting, isn't he? Uh, right, we'll take you around, look at some engines. Like I said, this is going to be a slightly different vlog, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've really got into steam engines over the last uh, couple of years. I don't know anything about them, so don't expect any information whatsoever. I just like looking at them. And I love the smell. Love the smell. Yeah, they look pretty cool, don't they? 
hopefully we get to see some action later on. I, just, I think maybe we've we've missed the best part coming on the Friday evening. I think the Saturday's the main day. And that is pretty cool, isn't it? Not just steam engines here, there is like classic cars, these amazing lorries. So there's quite a bit here to look at. I think £12 entry is an absolute bargain to be honest. Some proper nice vehicles here. Look at that, what a beaut. Persian. That is sexy, isn't it? You can literally, I can see my reflection in this, in this bumper. It's awesome that, look. Look at the front end on that. Absolutely beautiful, baby. Yeah, so it is literally stuff like that. Um, show vehicles. I don't think we'll be touching the craft tent. Uh, not my cup of tea. The vehicles I really like. The wall of death I love. Uh, the craft stuff, hmm, I'm not really into that. Maybe I should have brought Sam. I think she would have been into the, the crafting area. But no, the fun fair is um, behind me. I'm not sure how busy that is. Um, the event at the moment, it's a bit quiet at the moment. I think, like I said, I think we probably missed uh, most of the... You know, Yeah, so Ross Larby's ghost train is here. And you've got all the usual suspects, to be honest. The Chaban, the Starflyer, the Twist, the Dodgems. All Coles rides are here. Yeah, so all your Coles rides are here. To be honest, I'm probably not gonna spend too much time in the fair, um, because I've done it all. I just wanna look around and see all the cool steam engines, tractors, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think they got like, um, I saw a few mobility scooters. There's old army trucks. Oh, is that? Trucks. Old army. army trucks? Yeah. Mobility scooter, that's just Simon's car. Yeah, we saw, saw Simon in his Simon's mobility car, scooter. Yeah, that's all that He was. was heading up the parade. Yeah. He was right front yeah. and centre of the parade he was. Yeah, yeah we're well, just there. checking some vehicles out. Because basically this rocket to show you around, really. Show you what's here. I mean, you've seen these rides a million times. We'll probably jump on a few later. Uh, you know what we're like. But yeah, mainly I just want to show you some cool shit. And the wall of death. There's Simon over there, look. I can see him coming. Yeah, basically the wall of death. Got a I, I, he's got a jacket on, bloody hell. I mean, we've had some hot weather over the last couple of days and uh, it's a bit cooler today, but by no means is it jacket weather. No means at all. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll um, show you around. I, may, I really want to focus on the wall of death, but I'll literally, I'll film the whole thing. I'm really looking forward to that. Ken Fox's, it was at Barry Island recently. I think it's going to Dorset Steam Fair as well. So we will bring you a hell of a lot of um, wall of death footage. If it's open, hopefully they'll just keep running it into the evening. I'm sure it's popular, I'm sure it's popular. Hello! Where the steam engines at? Over here. We need to go and look at some engines. Let's go and have a look at some Before engines. Before they all go. Yeah. Simon's yeah. been here all day, isn't he? I've been here, nice been here for a few hours, yeah. <laughs> you have fun? I, well, I've been watching all the stuff going on in the arena and everything. It's not a bad event, is it? No, it's pretty good. It's, um, Again, it's different, it's like isn't it? It's a mini Dorset. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's quite, I like it. Not bad. There's and it's quite cheap to get in. 12 quid, you're laughing, aren't you? Can't complain of that, can you? No. So I love the smell, the, the steam, man. It's so it's, cool. It's, yeah, they, they were going past earlier, yeah, the little mini ones. Yeah, yeah, the mini so ones. They're giving people rides on I them. want to see the mini ones. And then me and Ross were sat there talking, and the big one went past and went, boop, <laughs> nearly killed us. We don't get a heart attack. <laughs> well, Just I'll go and find some engines. Yeah, they're over here. So you've got all your favourites, like fish and chips. Pie and mash corner, look at that. Loads of food, isn't there? Loads of food options. They've got a bar behind me, fully licensed bar. That's where most of the people are, getting pissed. Whoa. So there, they've got a big marquee there where they've got a, uh, a bar. People are in there getting hammered. Um, getting hammered. Lovely views here, look. Really nice views. We will be looking at some steam engines. We just want to check out which uh, time. there's no the... sign on it. Oh, in there? No. We need an opening time sign. There's no, no opening time on it. That's what I've come for, the main event. There's the main event, the Wall of Death, Ken Foxes. It's awesome, this look. We just need to know which time it opens now so we can go in. Let's... Yeah, this looks awesome. It, look at that. I've never seen one of these. Obviously, a staple of Dorset, you of? Dorset Steam Fair, but I've, I've never been on it there. What do they remind you of if you look at it from a distance? 
Rotor. Right. It does look like a rotor. Like the old style rotors. Oh look, through there look. It's like yeah. a drum, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It does look like a rotor drum. Yeah. Three quid a person as well, which is uh, really well priced. I did. I, I expected it to be a fiver. I thought it would be a fiver or something, yeah. But uh, it's not, oh, open, okay. not open yet. Look at that. That's it does look like a rotor drum, doesn't it? Does, yeah. With a tarp. When you come in, when I came in, I, I, I'm parked behind me. Did fly, you think it was a rotor? <laughs> yeah, I thought, Jesus, that's a big rotor. Then I realised, <laughs> oh no, that's the, the wall of death. But we will definitely be taking you on this and uh, oh, filming yeah. all of it for you as well. I yeah, can't wait they, for that. I'm so open. excited. I'm not sure what time Someone's going to ride it, aren't you? I would love to. I'd sit <laughs> on the back seat. I'd have a go, but you know, I don't think they'll allow me to. Health and safety. Yeah, Connor's buggered off just taking photos, isn't he, of all the My trucks? Like Some it. nice vintage car. Yeah, size new car, vintage one. <laughs> I have we'll, to do, I have what to we'll do, we'll walk around, like go that. for a quick walk, side. We'll show off some lovely vintage vehicles. Again, like I said, if you're not into this, just skip it and come back for the next one. Um, hopefully, you like it. Though. I know a lot of. Some fair enthusiasts do like stuff bit, like this. It's something a little bit different for everybody, you know. And, and, it, and it still includes fair rides, so exactly. technically it is a fun fair vlog. There's so you can't criticise me. There's a lot of people camping here, considering it's quite yeah. quiet inside. Well, hopefully uh, um, they come out tonight. Because well, the, the nightlife at these events are great. When you, you know when the lights go down, uh, I think you've got some live music. When the beer starts flowing, yeah, well, I, I people get a little bit that. merry and a little bit uh, boisterous. It's merry? It's not Christmas. <laughs> right, what we'll do is we'll show you some uh, Where did you park? vehicle right, right, right over on the other field. You have to cross the road. Free parking, but yeah, we have to cross the road to get in. Oh, right, we'll look at the um, the, the lorries. Yeah, this is proper awesome, proper geeking out here. Look, the smells alone are fantastic. Here they go, fast and furious, quarter of a mile drag race. Got a scanner, a couple of scanners. Oh, Again, they're a bit, they're a bit too modern for my liking. I like the old stuff. Got an old living wagon that's, there. That's what pulls it by the looks of it. What tows it along? That is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's an old scam wall at Wimborne Dorset. That's nice, that. Really nice. Is that American flag? Is that like a Ford pickup? It's a Chevrolet, I think, isn't it? Chef. Chevrolet Chef. pickup. I'm a car enthusiast. Look at that. You got a double decker bus, and then a. Uh, an American coach, isn't it? Silver Star. Yeah, that's that's well cool, that, isn't it? That is. It's like watching it from the films, isn't it? Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> that's what Number it looks two. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they will get attacked. A couple of uh, Earths. That's cool. Look at that. Crane, mate. I don't have to say because I don't really know anything about vehicles. <laughs> I'm just showing the them. The thing off. is, it's not. So when you look around. It's not all fair vehicles. No. So there's a there's obviously you've got the buses that are, there's a few there's a few um, Scania's and, and Volvos up there. Um, these are recovery vehicles. These two, obviously. There you um, go. Look, this is why you brought Connor. He's a fountain of knowledge. No, it says it there. <laughs> Don't tell him that. It says it there. Just pretend you no, knew. No. Oh, okay. Recovery vehicle. There we go. We all thought yeah. he was intelligent, but you, uh, thought, you thought I had a massive IQ. That's us, mate. Sloppy vlogs. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's our slogan, mate. Here you go, look, I got you some steam. Can't beat a good Foden. <laughs> Connor, what is it? It's your favourite, mate. Yes, that is well nice, isn't it? That is pretty cool, isn't it? You can't beat a good Foden. It's like a giant Pickney's Green, isn't it? Yeah. Loads of these uh, steam engines. I mainly like the uh, steam engines, but these vehicles are cool. Really, really cool. That one's got the wheels out. Is it? Yeah, they're, they're like smart. American Muscle. No, it's not. It's Ford. Now again, that looks like the uh, the killer's thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it's Wait. Creepers, man, isn't it? Look. Is it rusty or is that the paint job? 
I think it's meant to look like that, but it looks pretty awesome. <laughs> That's the, is that the Jeep of Yeah, isn't it? Similar. It's when he's it's driving it's up it's behind him honking. Hang on. I'll Google it for the fine lower, folks though. at home. Just Google it, yeah. This is lower though. Get it, out, get it out from the database. <laughs> What Jeepers Creepers truck? What, which truck is it? It's very similar. It looks, I think. looks like it. But he's ramming in the back of him. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Was it say? He thinks it's beating me or something. Yeah, it's yeah. Nineteen forty-one. E eating you or something? It's a Chevrolet. Heavy duty coat. And what's this thing? That is a Chevrolet. Yeah, it's a Chevy. That's cool. Yeah, well, it looks the same. The number plate says Tottenham. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Milkbush. <laughs> Totten mush. That is a long chimney. Look at that. Got bloody cannon on it. Fulda mobile car, the Noble 200 was introduced in Britain in 58. Mm. Why is it, it's a bit like a Robin Reliant but backwards. Yeah, yeah. Because it's one wheel at the back. But surely you tip over. I think you can drive it on a uh, provisional motorbike license. Yeah, it? ain't got reverse. If you haven't clicked off the vlog yet, thank you and I hope you're enjoying this completely different oh, vlog. Um, we will be getting on fair rides, I promise there'll at least be a ghost train POV. Uh, in this vlog, I can uh, guarantee you that. I promise. Oh, man, I promise. These, what is it? It's Simon, your dad bought one of these. Morris Minor. My Minor. dad bought one of these. Yeah. To do up, and it was sat on the um, on the patio for about two years, and then they <laughs> scrapped it. This is so cool. It's a trike. We tried to get one of these for uh, Bailey's prom, in the end, we just took him on a motorbike. It's a really nice looking trike. That folding is gorgeous again, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, look. Concentrated, I'm filming. Look at the workings of it. Pretty impressive, isn't it? I like to see them working. These are the static ones. I think we've, mi I think we've missed them all working. That's nice, isn't it? It's starting to rain, is it me? No, it's spitting a little bit. That is beautiful. Got a choice of about 50. But they've been baking in the sun all day, so rather you than me. <laughs> Miniature engine. Tiny little engines, they're so cool. Yeah, you do have some organs here, some vintage organs, but unfortunately they're, they're now switched off. Um, I definitely think we missed the boat with this one. I definitely do think during the day is the best time to come because it's now, what, it's uh, 20 to 7 and literally everything is switched off. They have got a climbing wall, but if you come in it's the, the evening... It's one ever to do. Yeah, because it's... You just <laughs> have to get on the top and then climb across. You're done. Horizon yeah, horizontal been. climbing wall. Yeah. Yeah, the climber always also packed up, which is disappointing. Yeah, I think we've definitely arrived too late. Um, come during the day if you're going to come. I, I thought there would be more of a, an evening thing going on, more evening activities, more atmosphere, more vibe. But obviously first time here, so I've made a mistake of coming in the evening. They've got a tomahawk throwing, but um, unfortunately it's that's really cool. It's like a miniature tank. 
That is pretty nifty, that, isn't it? I like that. All I can hear is Ross's bloody train. There is definitely one of them in maximum overdrive. I'm pretty sure of it. It's really cool. This is, look, the little windows. That is really cool, isn't it? Those are the way over there. I think Connor's iron up the pie and mash on you. Connor's iron up the pie and mash. I there's going to be a tornado in a minute. Look at that. Simon's worried about it pissing down. I just want to see the water death. Um, well, if not, um, if not, but if the water death don't open, I'm I'm gonna lose my ship. But overall, it's a good event. Lots to see, lots to do during the day. In the evening, you know, it might just be a late bloomer. It might liven up a bit later. It's like going to a nightclub at nine o'clock at night. So what we do is we'll go for a little walk, we'll go back up to the Wall of Death and fingers crossed that bloody thing's open because that was the main event. There's absolutely no show times for the Wall of Death. We, we think it's shut up for the night, we think we've missed it, which would be... Well, it says evening entertainment. Um, unreal that if this doesn't run into the evening, I think it's outrageous. Um, hopefully I'm wrong, but it's not looking good. The wall of uh, death continues to spite me. We missed it at Barry Island by a week. And now, and now it looks like we're missing it at Netley Steam Rally. The next day. Back again. Day two. We've had to come back because the uh, the bloody wall of death didn't open yesterday. So uh, we've had to come back again. Pay entry again. Just for this bloody wall of death. It better be worth it. Where's Simon? Still in bed? Uh, he was meant to be meeting us at 10, but he's sounder. So yeah, no Simon. He is away with the fairies. So it's just me and... There's about as much Me truth in Connor. that blow because there is a new articles on Wikipedia. Yeah, <laughs> and COVID. Yeah. Yeah, so we will try this again now. Um, I'm a bit annoyed I've got to pay entry again. It's only £12 each, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, the wall of death shut yesterday at five, but today is Saturday, it's the main day. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, see it. First mission of the day is trying to cross this road. So we're making our way uh, to the entrance again. Oh, we'll try it again. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed today, so sorry the vlog, yesterday's vlog, ended abruptly. I, um, I'm not going to lie, I got in a mood. Oh, it was a mood. <laughs> I was well. sulking. I, I Literally, I lost my... Uh, was I was I was really angry because the, the wall of death didn't open. It's, oh, oh you're gross. I was kicking I was kicking random people, weren't I? Oh, yeah. That, little, they, girl, that they, little girl got booted. They had to ask us to leave eventually. Yeah, I got escorted out by the security because I was proper kicking off. Right, let's do it again, shall we, Connor? It's worth every penny, mate, isn't it? Right, we're back in. We've done it. We're in basically the Wall of Death. It opens at 11. I did message the Facebook page and they confirmed 11 opening. Um, yeah, I was a bit disappointed with the 5 pm closing, especially on a Friday when most people are at work and it doesn't really pick up for the evening. But I understand yeah, it because awesome. they are driving in circles literally all day. Yeah. So. But if I, the, the thing is, what I noticed yesterday is the event runs on till what? Probably 11 o'clock. Yeah, it? yeah. But a lot of it, a lot of it kind of calmed down around 7 ish. Yeah. And then the um, live music from the back of that wagon with scaffolding over it um, was, was on. Yeah, so I think the evening is mainly people getting hammered in the beer tent, which is, sounds right. But yeah, not a lot of activities to do uh, in the evening. So, you know. so if you are coming uh, next year, 
come during the day, it's like Saturday is the main day today, so hopefully everything will be running, we'll get the parades. They've got like you a know. Fantasy Island Market too. We're going to have to go and look, there's some tat, aren't we? Oh. Crafts. They've got, um, apparently they've got a model tent tat. as well. Huh? Got a model tent apparently. What, a fairground model yeah. tent? Oh god. That's Cooper. where Cooper is. Cooper will be here. Yeah, he's got his Miami. Has he brought his bell with him? I think so. <laughs> You know the one he rings so we know where he is. <laughs> Yesterday I wanted to come back because the vlog was incomplete. The whole vlog is going to be centered around the wall of death. That was the main reason I come. So I wasn't going to put up a half ass vlog of just us looking at some classic cars. Um, I did want to make a full on. F f f f f I did want to make a fully fledged vlog. Um, in terms of fair rides today, I don't think we'll be doing too much, will we? No. I might jump on the ghost train and maybe the, the Dodgems, but apart from that, you've seen everything there a hundred times. So today it's going to be all about the uh, the wall of death. What are we doing first? Steam milk. I know I'm going to get an iced one because it's hot. Iced coffee. Iced mocha. Ten past ten. Where's Elkins? Still asleep. Okay, going to be wall of death. It's open, I think. It's not yet. Eleven. Steam milk. Espresso and steam milk, topped with a foam milk. So yeah, it's definitely more lively today. A lot more going on during the day than the evening. I've got to be honest. I've been lucky. Which one's the vanilla one? That one. Nice one, man. Cheers. Right, the first show is at half 11, um, so we've got a while to hang around, I just showed you some classic cars, I want to see more like steam engines, I don't mind the classic cars but I much prefer uh, the steam engines, it's really hot today isn't it? It is hot, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I wore shorts. Really hot, I might have to put my hat on. You haven't got your pinks, no you're not putting that hat on. I've got on. a bucket hat no, and um, everyone tells me I look like a twat in it, Yeah. so Sorry, I might, mate, it's it might just, make an appearance later. It's public, you know like, you know how Boris has left, because they all wanted him out. Yeah. You wear that hat, I'm going. Okay. Sam already told me, like, point blank, no holding back, you look like a twat. So, uh, I'll show you later. Why it's really cool. Why one of these? I, I, with with um, baseball caps, my ears poke out, they just do not suit me. So I thought I'd try a bucket hat, considering they're all the, all the range. I mean, Jesse Lingard wears one, and he's cool. Is he? Who said that? Well, I think he's a twat, but apparently he's cool. Apparently he's cool, yeah. But no, well, yeah, um, you'll see it later, because I'm, I'm sweating already. And like, like I said, like a hundred times, this thing is a sun trap. You know you moaned the other day about Simon wearing all black? Yeah. You're in a black t-shirt, Bush. Oh, a bit slimming, isn't it? I told you they were all the range, look. Look at that cannabis one, Cameron. Yeah, got a corn. Fuck it, hats, mate, I told bananas, you. Uh, they're all the range. Pickle Rick. That's one to get, Pickle Rick. Where is Elkins, for God's sake? Well, when I got out the hotel this morning, there was a guy picking like cigarette butts off of the floor. And I said to him, what are you going to do with them? And he went, well, I'm going to smoke them. And he looked, he had a load of stuff on his face. He had like a scarf on and a hat, like a woolly hat. But he did look like Simon. So Simon's scamming so cigarette butts. So I think butts. what he's doing is he's, he was in Winchester town centre until late, well, early this morning. And he's picking all the cigarette butts out. Doggins. He had a cup just like this and he's just putting the butts in. I mean I know times are hard but yeah but you know that's other people's saliva. Unreal, it? That's I'm... where he is. I think that's knackered him out so he's gone back to his cardboard but he's, he's wherever he lives. Cardboard box I would imagine. <laughs> and just slept there for a bit and he'll come out later on when all the crowds have gone and do the same thing again. Yep. You know cigarette butts. Oh well we don't miss him do we? Well he should be here but obviously that is more important. Yeah. Bless him. Yeah, I'm not actually uh, entirely sure when the fair opens. Um, we know the Wall of Death, like the main reason we come back today, I know I keep, I keep banging on about it, but the Wall of Death opens at uh, half 11, so we'll definitely be there for that. Uh, we'll capture everything in there for you. The fair currently not open, but I did want to just jump on a couple of rides just to kind of pad out the vlog because we are a fun fair channel and we kind of need to do a couple of rides at least, um, don't we? I 
and he's seen the people that rode that one. And they had um, a big one that was Great Eastern by Brunel. Yep. Uh, I was chatting to him after you know, quite a bit about like Brunel. And we were talking about like, this great friend. Been more a long time. Yeah. There we go, I just showed you some footage from the, um, the wonderful model tent they have here. That Meccano octopus was absolutely uh, stunning. It's actually a really good vent. I might have been a little bit negative yesterday because like all this was shut, but we did arrive in the A little evening. bit. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm much more positive today. It's, it's a definitely worth 12 quid of anyone's money. I think so, yeah. It's a really good well, event. Loads of stuff. Loads, loads, loads to look at. 12 quid is an absolute bargain. Um, yeah, uh, so. <laughs> Look who's here! Die. Scoops! Oh, they're spraying us! Oh my god! It's got wet! <laughs> yeah! He's, he, yeah. You come for the wall of death? Yeah! Connor don't want to come in my hot tub with me! He keeps inviting me in his hot tub! Oh, I said, look, Let I'm not a piece of meat. Right. Two straight men in a hot tub. Not a piece of meat. We'll have, right. our, we'll have our swimming shorts on to keep us respectable. I yeah. will, I doubt you will. No, they always come off. See, they just slip okay. off. Yeah, I decided to put me up. Put... Why have you got jeans on? Why? Because yeah. my shorts were in the wash yesterday and I forgot to put them back on again. Just turn them inside out. Well, no, don't do that. That's terrible advice. Right. Front of the first performance of the day. Slipping, sliding, dipping, diving, motorcycle riding. This is the wall of death calling you. Very first show of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, free, please. Free, thank you. Riders just on the inside down. I've worn out those five-hour classic American machines. Thanks very much, Jay. Thank you. Here we go. We're doing it, finally. First row as well. So excited.
can go there, the rule of death time is so loud in here with the engines popping. I can't wait, can't wait for this. Yeah, the atmosphere is building in here, look at that Connor. Excited? Yeah? What? Excited? Yeah, I'm just happy to be out of the sun. Can't wait, I'm so excited. Always wanted to see this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wall of Death. Before commencing with this performance, can I kindly ask you to keep your hands and arms clear of the safety cables surrounding the top of this wall. Chicken, bacon and leek. 
Iron Mash, mushy peas and gravy. Twelve seconds later. So hopefully he takes a lot of money. That was nice, that was. Just can't finish it though, there's too much there. 11 quid, I tell you what. I've got two yeah, That's a bargain. You won't complain and Weatherspoon's paying uh, 11 quid for that. I can't even finish it, there's that much there. I didn't finish mine. Right, I just had um, the, the amazing yeah, higher yeah. mash chicken yeah. leek. Thomas, Thomas mm. yeah. Massive portion for uh, 11 pounds. Absolute bargain. Yes, I know the hat. I look like a twat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, you do. I have to apologise. Cricket hat. What? Cricket hat. You can shut up for I. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to floor him in a minute, but um, much needed in this weather. But yeah, that pie and mash was mwah, delicious, delicious, 10 out of 10. Connor? Yes, pal. How was the wall of death? For three quid, we got a 10 minute cycle and it's probably one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. It's the best three quid I've That's, ever seen. Yeah, that, you, they would have seen the footage, but that, that show is, is incredible. It's like... You've never seen anything like that. Obviously, when you go to the circus and you see the motorcycles in the, you know, the ball, the metal ball, they they drive around and go upside down yeah. and all that. That's brilliant, but that's because that's its own attraction, and you only pay three quid for it for a Absolute ten minute bargain. show. You know, you don't get ten minutes on most rides for three quid. No, you don't. And all I had to do was stand there and I not feel sick. For, I paid more for a latte today. The freak out more expensive than the yeah. ball of death. And the whole barrel shakes and it goes round. Yeah, it's just an incredible it's, experience. Um, but they've they've got that is such a genuine, just amazing show. They've got merchandise as well. Dave's probably showed you some. Actually, I haven't. I'll, I'll show them. Yeah, and then you know they've got safety precautions and all sorts in there, and they even they even thought about the heat because they've taken the sides down. So they they seem like a really nice bunch of people. So yeah, no, if you see it, go and uh, if I'll you show see it there, go and watch I'll it. I show them some merchandise. Hold yeah. this. Hold this. I've got this metal plaque. Five quid, metal plaque, so that's cool. I've also got a t shirt. XXL? No, three large. X, 3XL. Uh, was it 12 quid for that, your t shirt? So not, not too bad. 20. Two for 20. So that's cool. Sam, Sam will love me wearing that. With my hat. I Is like, that a weird bedroom thing? I look like a complete twat even more, wouldn't I? He There's... loves, look, let me just zoom in on the hat. Oh, hang on. Ridiculous. Yeah, so that wall of death was um, definitely one of the, the best experiences I've, I've ever had, and I'm so glad I come back for it. I was really disappointed yesterday and it was shut, but we made the decision to come back today, and I do not regret it at all. Can you leave my hat alone? I will knock him out in a minute. Right, yeah, I do not regret the decision to come back. We've actually no. enjoyed it so much, we've binned off the other fair, we're going to stay for the day. That's how much we're really enjoying this event. Just to tell everybody that we've got a steam fair on here this weekend and no mistake it. Steam salute, gentlemen, please. Come on, hands on those whistle cords. That's it. this event for enough 12 quid entry and you get so much like all those classic cars the engines so good the wall of death's only three quid which is insane um insane i did film the uh the wall of death in the 4k video that will be a separate upload separate POV. it's a great event it's a really really good event i can't recommend it enough even I cooper's was, turned out for it so they, that's how good it is i think we also thank the organizers for bringing the wall of death here because yeah. they they pay for them to come to keep the chart the price to go in there yeah. reasonable. Yeah, I think it's a, a shrewd, yeah. shrewd, 
shrewd move, shrewd Very move shrewd, on the organisers. Um, it's a massive hit, really, really popular like I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, thank you to the organisers, I'm sure you're watching. Yeah, we showed you a few cars yesterday, but today like there's just, there's just way too many to film. Literally hundreds of classic cars, classic bikes. Get yourself down here, uh, Netley Mars Steam Rally, or your local Steam Rally. But this one is a great event. That is a sweet front end. What a car that is, Mustang. There you go, I said we'll get you some steam engines. I'm a man of my word. Is that what these are? Yes, mate, the steam engines. These, they, you know, they I used to power they were, rides back in the day. I thought they were the things that flatten the tarmac If you've made it this far into the vlog, I applaud you, honestly, thank you. Uh, something completely different, but I've enjoyed it. You know, I think it's good to have um, variety. Variety is the spice of life. So, you know, it's nice to have different stuff uh, on the channel. And of course, it is fair related. It was still using its original water type hydraulic system. He did tell me that his friend has uh, persevered with it and actually got it working. Well, you saw that the body was tipped just now to one side. That's, that's really good. That, that, is it a three-way or a two-way? No, it's a three-way chipper. You've got uh, pins on the left hand side, as we're looking at the back of it, you've got pins on the left and pins on the right, and at the back, and depending on which two you decide to uh, put into position, you could either tip it and tip it over. Yes. I know from my experience with the years ago, they do a lot of damage. So uh, usually the same, the same person put both, they would produce 110 volts DC, which was what a lot of the showground rides ran on. And then of course you've got the bigger showing there, you can get some some of the flare. That's a bigger diamond over there, if you can bounce it from that diamond up there. One meter is for voltage, and the other meter is for current, how much current it was supplying. And often it's not, they would uh, supply anything up to 300, 350 amps for starting one of the big rides, from the of the big motors to start. Uh, all the engines would do would, be, would just rock a little bit more severely, or rock a bit harder. Yeah, so there's so much to look at here, honestly. This vlog's gonna be about eight hours. If I filmed everything, there's tractors and mini engines and so much to film, honestly. Um, you, you're gonna have to come down and experience it for yourself. That's honestly the best um, thing I'd say, because, you know, you know, it's been great. It's been great to do something different. Um, I've really enjoyed it today. You have, and imagine, yesterday. Imagine getting up at eight o'clock, going to work at nine, finishing at five, going home, having your dinner, cup of tea, putting this vlog on, and then seeing you in the fucking hat. <laughs> you fit in here, you fit in perfectly here. Yeah, I'm like a farmer, aren't I? Yeah. If he really hates my hat, so guess what? <laughs> I'm going to wear it more. Coots, we're going to have to get you a slazzy that's your, one. That's your, uh, that's your mix. Comment below, do you like the hat, yes or no? No. If you, if you say no, you're blocked instantly from everyone, your channel. Everyone right? that says Everybody no, say no. gets PayPal to Fiverr. I like the hat. Just so many of these, like literally hundreds. And they're all really, really cool as well. I mean, for 12 quid, you're never gonna get a better value, I don't think. It's like Shrek's fist, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow,
the ghost train to the uh, freak out. Freak out. It's me and Coops. Where's Elkins? You tell me. Sleep, mate. Here we go then. We are on the freak out. I told you we'd get on roads, I promised you, didn't I? I'm, I've done the ghost train now on the freak out. I might do the orbiter as well. And the dodgem. So, you know. Rope machine here, look. Yeah, we did this a week ago in Andover, we'll go check the vlog out. Definitely a good one, you get some really good views here as well. It's a beautiful setting, let me see, Mally. In a minute, I am going to go and have some pie and mash of it. We've just done a few rides there at Starfire, Ghost Train and the uh, Free Camp. That's our time in the fair pretty much done. We've done a few rides there. I said this is more about the fair. This is the whole event and the fair is just a small portion of this event. But always enjoyable, always enjoyable. <laughs> There's literally people everywhere, the event is so busy, uh, really busy now. I think like we've pretty much seen and done everything. Um, it's still quite early, but uh, I think I'm ready to go home, uh, jump in the hot tub. That is an open invite, by the way, Connor. You can come in if you want. Stop inviting me to I need to edit this vlog as well, uh, get that for all my Sunday viewers. What do you reckon? Done or not? Get a what? drink, we're we'll going to get a drink. Get a drink. Do the drink, shoot. then we'll shoot. But yeah, we've yeah. pretty much done and seen everything. Um, Really recommend it. Highly recommend it. Good event. Um, so I tell you what else to recommend. Getting this, in your hot tub. This hat. I don't. Keeps the suns out your eyes. And I don't squint as much. The sun's as well. not even out. Shut up, Connor. But no, it's been a really, really, really good event. I hope you enjoyed this one. Something a little bit different. See you next year, Connor. And that is our time at Netley Marsh Steam Rally done. We'll close up by the car, but I've had a cracking day. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Yeah, I'm tired then. My legs are. I'm getting too old for this malarkey. On that note, I think I'm going to close the vlog now. Uh, I've had a really good day. Cheers for checking this vlog out. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, something completely different. Uh, Co uh, Simon was in here for the first part. Coops has been here for the second part. Yo. Uh, Connor's been all the way through. 